the 2020 Dems are completely, totally, utterly out of control. They are now pushing changes on every area and every institution where they've fallen, well, really short, right? I mean, think about the Electoral College. Somehow it's the Electoral College's fault that they are not in the Oval Office. <laughs> The Supreme Court now. They want to remake all that. I mean, here's the problem. A lot of these far left ideas, they aren't even constitutional without major amendments, raising questions as to whether these candidates really fully understand what they're talking about. Or maybe it's just all political. They're trying to game you. Here with me right now to react to all of it, <clears throat> presidential historian Doug Weed. Doug, good to have you back. I mean, like I said, I feel like sometimes I'm in some kind of alternative universe, right? I mean, I, you hear these things and you're like, wait a second, where did common sense go? Where did an appreciation for our history, for our Constitution and what has worked for 230 years go? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, monomania is what they call it. They are <clears throat> fixated on the 2016 election, and they blamed it on the voters who were deplorable, and then they blamed it on the Russians, and they <laughs> see it's not the Russians, so they're blaming it on the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> the it's electoral the Electoral College. College's fault. All right, this, <laughs> then, is a, it, this is messed up, right? Because I'm just going to tell you, you know, I, I talk about it a lot. I grew up in a little tiny place in New Hampshire, the live free or die state, where you know what? We take elections really seriously. It's like all we got going on, right? I mean, <laughs> it's a small place. So every four years, the candidates come through. Actually, they're all there right now. In fact, uh, I believe Mayor de Blasio was there the other day. Only 20 people showed up, six of whom were reporters. Um, anyway, so you, you, you get where I'm going. They take it very seriously. But you know what? They have a voice at the table, Doug. They have that voice because of the, the, the Electoral College. I mean, without it, New Hampshire wouldn't matter. You'd be talking New York and California. Yes, and you know what's interesting, Trish, is even in some of these liberal states like California and New York, they don't get what they want from the voters in the statewide referendums on education and on other subjects, so they look to the courts. That's what stacking the courts is all about. And they have a federal judge say that's unconstitutional or this is okay. And if they can't win at the ballot box, which increasingly is difficult for them, they will win in the courts. And that's why they want to stack the Supreme Court so they can promote their agenda beyond the economic agenda, their social and cultural agenda, which the voters just won't buy. Doug, what's the danger in that? I mean, it should be obvious, but I want you to spell it out because you say it so well. Well, the, the danger is we lose uh, the America that we know and don't even get a chance to vote about it. It's taken out of our hands, and that's the great danger. You know what? I can think of another country that went down that path. I don't want to say another because I certainly hope we would never go down that path. I hope that Cory Booker gets absolutely nowhere, not even to first base on this ridiculous idea. But Venezuela did this with Hugo Chavez back in 1999. He tore up the Constitution, redid it, and you know what he did? He, he, he got rid of the whole separation of powers and he just stacked the court. So the Supreme Court in Venezuela right now is a complete joke. They just did whatever. Hugo Chavez wanted, and now they do whatever Nicolas Maduro wants. We don't want to be that, Doug. No, we don't. And, uh, you know, Karl Marx made the statement that you just keep reintroducing the idea over and over and over, and people get used to it, and it'll eventually take. We have to be vigilant. Uh, or that can happen in the United States. Well, we're vigilant on this show. You better <laughs> believe it, because we, uh, we believe in protecting the country and our freedom and all of our liberties. Doug, so good to have you here. Thank you so much.